Hello guys, welcome back to some more Uncharted Survival. In the last episode we played on stage 2 Madagascar City where I thought I'd show you managed to get myself one star. I didn't do quite as well as I hoped on the Madagascar City map and considering it is one of my favourite maps in the game, unfortunately I didn't do as well as I hoped on that map. And this episode now we're going to stage 3 Prison. So this is my first YouTube video of 2022 and I, as I didn't record many videos in December last year, unfortunately my laptop broke down and I wasn't able to finish this Uncharted Let's Play before Christmas time but... Now I've got myself a new laptop, it's now time to finally continue making more Uncharted Survival videos, so we're now going to start with Stage 3 Prison. I wouldn't say this is one of my favourite maps on Uncharted Survival, but it's not a map I hate at all, but I'd rather play on other maps like Madagascar City and maps like Scotland, you know, those kind of maps and maps I prefer playing on. So in this episode we're going to head to Stage 3 Prison. Let's give this a shot. Let's have an open game so other, play other players can join. So it looks like we're going to be playing as the villain today. Let's play as Nadine, why not? And she's got Chloe Fraser fighting alongside her. I don't know where to class as Nadine as a villain myself since she did redeem herself in the Lost Legacy, but as of Uncharted 4 she was a villain, so that's probably why she's in the villains category. What do they call this? By location, isn't it? I also find it a bit odd as well that she has Chloe fighting alongside her as well, who we, we all know Chloe is not an Uncharted villain. She is certainly a good friend of Nathan Drake. So I start off for AK-47 and the pistol the same weapons I start off with usually. I feel I'm quite happy I start off with these weapons as well because these weapons I've got are graded to a decent level so I guess I can't really complain too much. So in this in this map we're going to be completing waves 11 to 15. Well, I'm going to use a shotgun actually. Let's spice things up a bit. I've not used a shotgun much on Uncharted Survival before. I've never really have been a fan of using shotguns much in Uncharted Survival, but I think let's change things up a bit and let's definitely start using the shotgun a bit more. Logically, I, logically, I'd only use a shotgun really if I had to for like Uncharted Survival, but as I'm making YouTube videos on it, I thought maybe it'll be a good time to experiment with different weapons to spice things up a bit and stuff like that. So I thought, now be, as we haven't got a warlord to deal with in this episode, I thought perhaps now would be a good time to, have, to experiment with a shotgun a bit. And yeah, let's see why not. Actually, we ain't got all the toughest enemies to he No, he's not down. I thought he wasn't dead. Well, I will grab this sniper guy. There we are, he's dead. So the game's open as well so other players can join. Hopefully some other players will join at foot if we get through this. If I can kill this one, there we are, and I'll go grab this one as well. Kill this guy, get out of here. There we are, he's down. So I I'm actually really enjoying using the shotgun. I never liked, I never used to like using shotguns much on Child Survival. Shotguns are usually the kind of weapons I'd use in shoot games, usually for like multiplayer purposes and that kind of thing. Because usually my style of multiplayer is to go up close to an enemy and just shoot them that way. Usually shotguns are the most effective weapons out because shotguns do the most damage at close range usually. So if I use like a assault rifle and like spray bullets around the map, sometimes some of the bullets will end up missing the opponent and then that opponent will end up taking me out. That's why usually I'd like using shotguns online for most first person shooters and third person shooters. So for wave 12 we've got another survive and eliminate all enemies round. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty much the same we had last time. So I'm going to wait for the enemies to spawn. Here they come, they got, they got, ammo, they got shotguns as well. Could do with some more ammo. There we are. Come out, there's someone there. I thought there, I thought there might be someone there unless he got out of cover. What if I go for this guy here? Come on, get out of hiding. No, I actually feel so nice to actually record YouTube videos again. It's been a while since I last recorded a YouTube video on my channel, my laptop breaking down and... Yeah, it was a bit of a shame it had to break down before Christmas time, but luckily it didn't break down after Christmas though, eh? So if I did, I would, I would have to be save a lot of money to get another laptop. But luckily though... It was a bit of a shame because I was hoping to finish my Uncharted Survival Let's Plays like before Christmas, but unfortunately I wasn't able to due to the fact that my laptop obviously broke down. But luckily I had everything, all the stuff I needed to record my YouTube videos backed up on the USB stick and I put that into my new MacBook computer. So yeah, luckily I've got everything I need still to record my YouTube videos, which is nice. So we got a siege round. Ah, oh, I remember this round. So the siege round on this map takes place near the tower. This little tower right here. 
So the siege round is going to take place pretty much around here. So I think I've got plenty of ammo for this, but I'll refill my ammo just in case. Uh, get myself uh, another grenade as well, I guess. May as well have a few grenades, just only because we are, we can only kill enemies in this area. Okay, here they come. I can hear one of those enemies breathing. Those are the ones that are going to try and grab me. These are the enemies I hate the most. Now, I've, like I've got quite a nice weapon for this, a shotgun, so... In their case, it will not be wise for them to come toward me as I'm carrying a shotgun. But so far though, I'm really enjoying using a shotgun. It's actually really fun. You take out enemies much quicker than I hope. Usually, when a shotgun was level 1, I didn't really enjoy having... I didn't really spend much time with it, because I didn't, I didn't think the shotguns were as good as I hoped, so I didn't bother using them, but... Now this shotgun's got a side, it's doing much more damage now, and I think, yeah, I'm really starting to enjoy it a bit more. So I'd say it's one out. Hey, how am I outside the region? So I guess I won't be taking cover there then. Okay, nice little grenade kill. Throw a grenade over there, why not? Just take these guys out. I'll take cover here. Take him out. There we are. Uh... Go for this one. I don't want to. I don't want to leave. See, Jerry and I got almost got taken out by that grenade. Got a throw a grenade over there. I was hoping it was going to clip this guy a little bit, but I think this guy was a bit too far away. It's a shame you can't throw back grenades actually, because Uncharted 3 there was a grenade mechanic where you could chuck the grenades back. But unfortunately, that is not available in, in the new Uncharted games for some reason, which is a bit odd considering I thought that was a huge gameplay improvement, like a gameplay mechanic. They really improved the gameplay in a way for Uncharted 3, and unfortunately, it's a bit. I thought it was a bit strange they didn't have that in the um, in the new Uncharted games. Here comes this guy. I want to take him out? Take him out! No, almost had him. Come on, I want to get out of there quickly. Ooh. I'll kill this guy. Yeah, there we are. Just whack him. Oh, I want to quick blow it. Send him off the map. There we are. Get out of here. I don't know if that killed him, but. Luckily, the force of shotgun was enough to blow him back so he could fall off the map. Get out of here. Get just one more kill to go. This guy here. There we are. Hey! Don't revive these guys. There we are. There we go. Let's move a chaotic wave, but now, now I can pretty much go out to explore the map at my own will now and take out enemies that way. So next round we just got an ordinary survival wave. Not for that. Just quick reload this, may as well. So we're gonna swipe around, just run around the map and just kill enemies that way. So far I'm really enjoying using the shotgun actually, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really enjoying something I've still on three stars, which is nice. I can't remember what the time limit was to get three stars, but I'll be very impressed if I did get three stars during this. So we're wave 14 starting, survive and eliminate all enemies. Whoever she is, she sounds competent. Okay, there's an enemy just run straight past me. I think Chloe got the got my, took most of the damage to the enemy. Oh boy. I did not see this coming. I really should refill my grenades before doing this. So come on, one come on. There we go. Maybe I should use this for a little while. Why not? Bring out the big guns, eh? Ha ha ha. Oh, come on, stop moving. There we are. I've got to wait for the other to appear. Then I can take them out. Uh, there's one. I could use like, maybe the other heavy weapon gunner could come out and then I could take him out that way. Oh, oh flipping out. Right, throw a grenade over there. I might get downed. I don't want to get down, damn it. Well, I thought, I was I thought the enemy was going to get some shots at me then, but luckily I justified that. Might as well waste all the ammo in this. Let's see if I can get off my friend. That's the ammo wasted, and I've only got three kills left, so it looks like I'm not going to get three stars. There's some man. At least I'll do better than what I did in the last episode. So I can't believe it's been almost over a month since I last recorded my um, last YouTube video. I did actually record episode 3, 4 and 5 previously, but unfortunately, as my laptop, as my laptop broke down, my old one, and unfortunately, those three episodes were not backed up on the USB stick. So unfortunately, 
I had to re-record episode 3, 4 and 5, which I'm recording episode 3 right now. Obviously re-recording it. So next way we've got is a treasure hunt. So basically what this is, there's going to be treasure scattered around the map and you need to collect it before the time runs out. You put, you're on a time limit while you do this, so if you don't pick them up within the time limit, you look, the, the round will restart and you'll have to do it all over again until you collect all the treasure within the time limit. You've got 10 minutes to grab all the treasure, so, so that's very generous of the game, I guess. So we head up here and grab all this I'll start with all this treasure first and we'll get the treasure on the roof up here. So we got so when we when the treasure first spawns there's about 50 treasures to collect. Then once you've collected all that, another 50 treasures spawn on the map and you'll collect it that way. During the time I wasn't recording, I was pretty much planning out like new new let's plays and stuff that I was going to do in my YouTube channel, and yeah, I thought that would be a good time to do it as I wasn't able to do any recording stuff during the time my laptop was broken. Okay, so if I quickly get here, take grab this treasure here, there we are. Get rid of this sniper guy, there we are. I'll grab it now. Hopefully, this won't take very long to do. Grab all the treasures. I think there's some treasure down here, literally in the well. Bye bye. I'll well, pick up his ammo though. To complete this, you don't need to kill the enemies because obviously, if you kill the enemies, the treasure's not getting collected, but. You can kill enemies and get them out of your way if you need to, but the main priority for a treasure hunt round is not to kill enemies. Obviously it does help, obviously the less of them shooting at you, the easier it's going to be for you, but... See, the main priority is not killing enemies for a round like this. So I've just got two more to go. I'll chuck a grenade in there, that'll deal with them. Come here. There we are, he's down. So now I'm gonna grab this treasure here quickly, and when that's the oh Chloe's down. All right, Chloe, I'm coming. Although I could just leave her to die, really, but I'm not gonna. Okay, there we go. New treasure has appeared on the map. When new treasure appears, mostly it appears on the other side of the map. Every time that happens, so you want to get running to grab it. I think this this map is very generous with its um, treasure hunting round. Mostly, when you play on other maps, usually it's much more difficult. Usually you have less time than this to grab all the treasure on a map. If we grab all the treasure, hopefully I can grab this in no time. And once we've grabbed all the treasure, that'll be way 15 complete. And that's this is where the challenge is going to end. So I think the treasure's up here. So we head on up here, grab all this treasure. Hopefully... Etc. Oh, if we head down here. Uh, okay, there's some treasure on the floor down here, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to come back down here. You do get a bit of money for collecting treasure, you get about $10 every time you collect a piece of treasure, which is pretty nice, eh? Don't you think? Not that I'm going to need it at this point, because obviously this is the last round, I'm not going to need all that money. Hopefully, in this part here, this should be the last bunch of treasure to collect. Okay, so we've only got five bit Peter Treasure Kit. Can I do this before the last star disappears? I know it's eleven minutes and something to get even to even get the first star, so hopefully I can grab the last bit of treasure. So the last one's over here. If we head this way I can grab it. Get off Chloe, there we are. Yeah, and they're not gonna down Chloe again today. Okay, last treasure which is I thought I collected this one. Anyway, that is the wave complete, that's all the treasure collected. So that is stage 3 prison, I only got one star again on that map, but it would have been easier if I had two other players with me, but I managed to get only one star for which I thought I would do, do a bit better than that as I had a shotgun as I was doing really well with it at the start. I managed to do that in 10 minutes 39 seconds now, I've had worse days.
Can I get to level 31? Can I do it? No, unfortunately not. So I'm still at level 30. So at least I'm getting closer to level 31, I guess. So. So that was stage 3 prison. Now in the next episode, we're going to head to stage 4 auction house. So I've only managed to get one star on this map. So in that, in that stage, we're going to be completing wave 16 to 20. Where at wave 20 at the end, we're going to have another warlord to take out. Oh boy. Okay guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. for want to update all the Uncharted Survival episodes uploaded to my channel. And in the next episode, we'll play on stage 4, Auction House. I hope to see you all then. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Goldiax, and I'm out.